Next part of the question, question 10. Hence, find the values of H and K that satisfy the matrix equation, all of this plus zero. So this is the same thing, except you have it equated to zero. So, what we have here, what it turned out to be is negative K plus 15 for K plus 5H is equal to 0, 0. So we're going to work with that. We can just erase what we have up here to make space. And move this up a bit. All right. So we're working with this. Now, let's move this up a bit. With all of this now, what you can see is that negative k plus 15 is equal to 0 according to the top row 0, row 1. And at the same time, for k plus 5h is equal to 0. Let's look at what's happening up here. k plus 15 is equal to 0. N I'm negative k plus 15 is equal to 0. If we subtract 15 from both sides, we get negative k equals negative 15. Therefore, multiplying both sides by negative 1, only the signs will change. The magnitudes of numbers will remain the same. So we get positive k is equal to positive 15. So here, we know that k is equal to 15. All right? Let's look at this now. This other equation here. 4k is equal to... The 4k plus 5h is equal to 0. k is 15. So 4k, remember, it really means 4 multiplied by k. So it's really 4 multiplied by 15 plus 5h is equal to 0. 4 by 15. All right, um, let's make some space. We use this already. Let me just draw a line here to separate the work. All right, so let's work, continue working over here. 4 by 15 is 60 plus 5h is equal to 0. If we subtract 60 from both sides, minus 60, you know, 60 minus 60 is 0, so we're only left with 5h here, is equal to your minus 60, and you have 0 minus 60 is negative 60. And you divide by 5, divide by 5, 5 cancels 5, you have h alone, h is equal to 5 into 5, 1, 5 into negative 60, is negative, you know, 5 into 60 is 12. So here, h is equal to negative 12. 